guys and welcome to this week's YouTube video. This week I'm actually in a very nice hotel room and we are going to be taking some photos within this hotel room using the nice um, benches and things that they have in this hotel room so that we can get some nice backgrounds and get shots of slightly different things than I would be able to get at home. So let's jump in and get started. <laughs> So the first little setup that I've got here is this little coffee tray. So I've just pulled this out of the cupboard and put it up on the workbench here. And we're gonna be doing a photo kind of top side above from an angle so you can see how the camera is pointed down at it right now. So it's from above so that we can see everything inside the tray, but we've still got a little bit of an angle to give us some depth as well. Um, now we have got a little light up in the corner of the shelf over there which is lighting up on the kettle and that back area and then I've also got my ring light here which I'm going to be using just to add a little bit more light in um, and I've got some pieces of black and white card here as well which I'm going to use maybe just to block a bit of light or add a bit of light in as I need to as we're going through the scene. So I'll just take a first picture now, just so you can see how that is coming out without any extra additional lighting or anything. So that's looking quite nice at the minute. Um, we are getting quite a lot of reflections though, especially on the kettle in the background. And we're getting quite a few reflections on the cups and also the silver edge of the tea bags as well. So let's see if we can block them out using a bit of black card. So, if we want to kind of block that, so if we come in a bit like that, that's mainly that light above that is the one that's causing us trouble. So if I just find the light switch, switch and turn that off, now we're getting a lot less light coming from that back area. So let's see how that has come out. That's looking much better. We've got a much softer light um, and we've lost a lot of those horrible reflections that we had on the cups there. So now we're just using the light of the ring light, which I might just move in a little bit closer, just to give a little bit more light on this mugs in the front here. And then I can just add in a piece of card here just to help with some of those reflections on that side there, just to soften some of them out a little bit. So again, just like this. So now we're softening out some of those reflections. Um, that's looking really nice. We've still got a little bit too much brightness up on the top there with the tea bags. So that's the next area I'm gonna work on getting rid of those reflections. So, okay, I'm just bringing this in, seeing where I can hold this to block those reflections. It's all just a matter of working exactly where they're coming from as well. So definitely over this side. We need to start blocking some of that light from the tea bags. So I do that, it looks okay, <laughs> but then I'm blocking the light from everything else. So I think just there we are getting rid of some of that reflection. So yeah, now we're starting with a much less bright reflection on those tea bags. Still a little bit of highlight on them, but they're definitely looking a lot better. Now the other thing is the kettle in that corner. We're still getting a lot of reflection coming in on that. So that is all reflection coming from elsewhere in the room. And I think to get rid of that, we're gonna need a very big block of light. So I think I'm just gonna leave those reflections on the kettle as they are. So this is our first shot done. Okay, so we're doing the same shot again, but this time I've actually put some water in the cups so that we actually have a cup of tea and coffee in the shot this time. So again, I'll use this piece of card 
just to block out the light coming in over the top here. And again, take another shot. So again, that looks brilliant just like that. And it's nice now to actually have that color of the tea and the coffee in the cups as well. All right, hi guys. So we are now set up in the bathroom area of our hotel room for the next shot. What I've got is just our basic collection of little bottles of like shower gel and shampoo and things that the hotel always gives you with some face cloths and some soap and stuff just on the dish here. Uh, just set them up in front of the mirror um, and just using my ring light just to light them from one side. And then I have a piece of foam board on this side over here, white foam board, which is just acting as a reflector to bounce a little bit of light back in onto that right side of the image. So again, I'm using the same settings as we had for the last shot, which was um, an eighth of a second, F11 and um, ISO 100. So let's take the picture and see what happens. Now uh, that's looking okay. We are getting some little hot spots of the ring light, which is expected. Um, and the one thing I'm not really liking is that this second bottle from the left is quite in shadow caused by the other bottles. So I might just change the layout a little bit of these bottles. So just ensuring that we start to get a little bit more even light across all of them. So it's all just little changes just to make sure that it is all coming out right. So that's looking much better. Now the other thing is you might see me sitting down on the floor here. I'm having to make sure that I sit down so that I'm not in the reflection of the mirror up there. So I've got to actually hide myself out of the reflection so I don't want to be in the photo. So again, just take a picture. And yes, that's looking much, much better. Um, the only thing still is the bottles are not quite even. So again, I'm just going to keep playing around with them just to make sure that I can get them exactly how I want them to look. That's all about those little changes. Just checking the camera how things are looking. Because the way you see things with your eyes often isn't the same way that you see them through the camera. So that is now not looking very even at all. I think this one just needs to come over ever so slightly. And yes, there we are. That's now looking looking much much more even so again I sit down and I can take that picture so again that's looking really quite nice now um, those bottles are lined up really really nicely and we're getting a nice light coming across the bottles the next thing I want to just make some changes on are actually the towels so this towel here is not looking quite as tidy as I would like it to so I'm just gonna re-roll this towel just to make sure again that everything looks perfect. If you have any little imperfections, they do show. So checking which side of this looks better. Just those little changes again. Still not looking. It's looking a bit better like that. So I'll just again take a picture. Very slightly, just to show you how that's now looking with that one. Sit down again. 
So yeah, that is again looking better with those towels. Now the next thing I just want to change is these soaps here. Um, I feel like we could just lift these up ever so slightly. Maybe actually just take them out of the box altogether. Actually, I quite like it like that because we're now getting a bit of reflection of the bottle. So I'm going to remove these soaps completely just for now, just because I want to see how that comes out with that reflection there. And yeah, I'm actually really liking that to the point I'm going to change the angle of my camera so that we can get all of that reflection in. So just lower the camera down a little bit more. Then that's the top there. I'm sure that's all perfectly lined up. Now the problem is the ring light, so I just need to move that further away. Um, I'm just I'm just gonna check that corner. Yes, that's looking a lot nicer now. So again, just zoom in just about there. Oh, we're now getting that really nice reflection across there as well. So let's just take that shot. I'm going to see how that comes out with that beautiful reflection across the bottom there. That's looking really, really nice now. Just a nice bit of symmetry going across the image. And let's just take these soaps. I'm not going to use the brush, but I'm just going to stand these up. Here somewhere. So maybe I can just rest there. Just the towels like that, and that harms all my messy folding work as well. in the camera again we've always got to check the camera and make sure that it's looking good in camera as well as on the actual screen now i've knocked one of those bottles in putting them in just going to move that back over a little bit and again just check that is all how we like it Tiny little changes, checking for checking for symmetry at this point. That's what I'm doing. Just making sure everything is nicely symmetrical, nice and lined up. And again, come down so I'm out of that reflection, which we've just got a tiny bit of at the top there. But that is coming out really, really beautiful. I'm really liking how that is coming out. So that is that shot done. Um and we can move on to do something else around the bath area. Okay guys, so our next setup is actually one in the bath here. So I've got a little bottle of body lotion next to the tap on our really nice big bath. And then I'm using a longer lens for this shot. So I've got a 100ml lens on now so that we can get that bottle, we can get the tap and then we can have those arrangements in the background. I don't think you can quite see in from the angle that you are watching this but I've got some flowers and there's some nice little pottery that has been left here by the owners of the hotel um, and I do also have my partner he's hiding in the corner with a reflector just to bounce a bit of light back in from that window towards our um, products and I've got another little piece of white foam core down here on the corner of the bath Again, just to bounce a little bit of light into the front of that product. So let's take a picture and see how this comes out. So we've got a nice water drop coming off the tap as well, which looks really, really nice. So that's how that's come out. We've got a really well backlit, so it's really bright in the background there. But that's actually quite nice. It gives a nice effect on the tiles and we're getting a nice, nice highlights and things coming through the photo. And that bottle is really nice.
nice and exposed. What I might just do is reduce my um, aperture. So I'm just going to drop that down so that we get a bit of a shallower depth of field. So I'm going to push that down to f5.6 and we'll change our exposure to a little bit of a faster shutter speed, so 1 25th of a second, so that we're still getting a balanced exposure. And again, I'll take a picture of that to show you how that comes out. So that's looking a little bit dark. The background is nicely exposed, but the product is a little bit dark in this image. So I might just lengthen that shutter speed, just a couple of stops, so we'll go down to 1 tenth of a second. So that's just going to brighten that scene up. So again, we've got that blown out background, which I actually quite like. Um, and then we've got a nice exposure on that bottle. So I'm just going to have a look at the bottle. I might actually just turn that bottle slightly so that that label is a little bit better positioned. Okay, so this is the last shot that we're going to do. Um, and I've just got a candle that I've put on the bedside table here. Um, we've got some overcast light coming in from just behind the bedside table through the window there. Um, and I'm just going to hold this reflector up just down here right in front of the camera to bounce a little bit of light back into our image. Now the light is changing so I just have to keep playing with my exposure as that light goes in and out as well. So we are now on f11 and one sixth of a second. So I'm just going to hold that there and take a picture. So that has come out really quite nice. We do have a few highlights which are not necessarily great. So we might just need to get some black card and just put them up on the window to block a little bit of light coming out. So just checking on my picture where exactly that light is so that I can come into the scene and I can work out where exactly I need to stand these pieces of card to block out that light. Just like that, just come and check on the camera again how that is looking. So that's blocked out a little bit of that front light. So we've still got a lot of light on at the lid in the background. So I might actually just take the lid out of the shot. So we've now just got the candle, keeping it really nice and simple now. So we don't have anything in the background. I feel like I need to add something else just into the background there. So I'm going to grab um, those blue flowers that I had in the bathroom and just bring them in here. Okay, so I've got the blue flowers. And again, I'm just going to have just my one of these down the back here. See how that looks in the camera. It's a little bit of blue. It's maybe a little bit too much with that. So we might actually just want one or two of these flowers. So I can just, take, just bend these. The good thing with fake flowers is they're really nice and easy to bend, and you can cut them up as well. 
Color in the background there, but we're not getting too much, so they're really hiding in the corner. So a little bit, they need to come around a little bit to the left. Just to give a little bit of color in the background, that's all it's for. Uh, that's a little bit too far. This round so that I can see from that way makes my life easier. So coming back and forth. Have a look at that and just move it across the side a little bit. Ah, it's losing it. So I'm not really sure these, these flowers don't seem to be working. I'm going to see if there are some nice ornaments in the bathroom as well. So I'm going to grab some of them or one of them and bring that in as well. Okay, so this is a vase that we have in the bathroom. Now I think this is going to work really well just in the background there somewhere. And that's quite dirty on that side. So again, just turn it round and make sure that what we've got in the shot is actually going to look okay. So push that in just a little bit. Just little movements to get that exactly where I want it, just to give a little bit of depth to the image. So that looks really quite great like that. So I'll come around here and let's take that picture. And yeah, that is, that's really looking quite nice now. Um, we do have some unwanted reflections though on that vase that I have just brought in um, so we need to work a little bit with them and grab another piece of black card to do that so with that I can just lean that black card up against the pillows here and that will help to block out that light and I need to remember to hold my reflector in place as well to get that nice reflections. Take that picture again. And yeah, that's looking much better. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change my F number. I'm going to lower that down again. Um, just so that we get a little bit of a shallower depth of field coming into this. Just to blow out that vase in the background a little bit. So, yeah, that is still looking much, much better. Um, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that shot. I think we will leave it there for now. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is everything that I have to show you for today's lesson. And um, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure that you give me a like and you also subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.